this is the process. Um, I, I'm thinking uh, that uh, we, we're unlimitedly lucky to have your association, Gurdjieff. And uh, we welcome you here. And uh, hope I can give my whole heart to you and please you in every way. And uh, I'm happy to be in everyone's association here. All glories to Shula Gurdjieff. She, my Bharat Prabhu, should come and speak to us. Shilakaya Chakshana Militam in Atas by Sri Gurude Namaha. Sri Gurude asked why he has come and why we have come. One time he said in New Braj that I have come to take hearts. I take them and I put them in my pocket and I don't give them back. <laughs> so when we see his divine grace, we know that he is the possessor of our hearts. And when we get close to him, we feel some connection. Srila Jagannanda Pandit in Prem Vivarta, he was writing about his relationship with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Swarup Gamada asked, what are you writing, Panditji? He said, oh, I am just writing about my relationship with Chaitanya, my, my Prabhu. And I'm thinking in any order, just for my own pleasure, I am writing. So Srila Gurudev has drawn us here because he said once that by doing bhajan, doing preaching, you will become happy. This is the goal of our life, to become happy. And we're realizing that happiness is developing relationships. Srila uh, Pratipuja Maharaj, and uh, when he saw that he had offended uh, Jad Bharat, and he said that I'm not afraid of uh, Lord Shiva, and I'm not afraid of Indra's thunderbolt, but I am very much afraid of offending a Vaishnava. So Srila Gurudev has come to teach us how serious spiritual life is, and how by developing loving relationships with each other on this plane, then we can have some platform to develop a loving relationship on that plane. So by his merciful, tolerant, constant knocking on our heads, slowly but surely, by his mercy and by his affection, Srila Gurudev said, it's not just love, but love and affection. Affection is the manifestation of love and is an active principle. I pray that somehow he will give me the mercy and that I will take this opportunity of this human form of life. Om Gyanam Tamandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tazmai Shri Gurudev Namaha I thought I was getting a free ride since I'm from Badger, not from Hawaii. <laughs> but I pray to Shri Gurudev that I can... I pray to Shri Gurudev that I can find my heart and speak it to his. Uh, several years ago, when I was in Oakland, California, and Gurudev was there, um, I was having trouble getting past all this mental energy that I've acquired due to my karma, and I was desperately trying to understand what everybody was experiencing in their heart, around me. 
So I asked Pangi Sharbogo to please take me out to see Sri Gurudev. And he brought me into his room and Gurudev had already been descending to go to class. And there were three ladies in there weeping. And I figured I don't stand a chance, but you know, it's who you know in this world. And Pankish Sharbogo uh, brought me to Gurudev. And I said, Gurudev, can you tell me? Oh, I said first, I said, Gurudev, your classes are so wonderful. And he said, but? I said, no, but Gurudev, but I can't seem to enter in. And he said, uh, and I said, can you tell me what's wrong with me? And he said, that I will tell you in Badger. But the next morning I was there in a class he was giving with just a few people. And he turned to me and he asked me to try to explain Gurudev Kripa Bindudiya. And I tried according to my capacity. Um, he said, this is not like a poet, but every day this prayer must come from the core of your heart. And then he asked me, what is the meaning of Atma Sata? And I didn't get it. And then he said, it means make me yours. He says, on my own, I can't chant. I can't remember. Actually, I can't do anything. So Gurudev, why is he coming around? And why are we here? Because as Gurudev was saying earlier, his mission is the same mission as our Srila Prabhupada and Srila Rupa Goswami, the mission of love and affection. And the love and affection that he's coming to preach is something very, very high. But somehow or other, by our connection with him, Gradually, we're beginning to understand things that even very, very senior devotees and in institutions all over the world aren't grasping. Because he's the possessor of love and affection. And I know in my own heart, I have no love and affection. I don't have anything. I have no wealth. But the greatest opulence I have is a slight connection with his lotus feet. Because by that connection, something can come into this heart which is worthwhile and can make my life auspicious and auspicious for those who come in contact with me. So I can only pray helplessly and hopelessly at his feet. I know why I'm here. I know that he has his love and affection. Once I asked him, Gurudev, would you please do the heart work? And then the second opportunity I had to ask him, Brajanath Prabhu was downstairs in Badger, and I said, are you sure you want this? He said, the last person who asked for this their whole life went up and smoked. <laughs> and I said, I have no choice. So I'm here because I want the hard work. Part of me that's sane and rational wants the hard work. The other part that has opposing tendencies, I'm praying that he'll crush with one swift kick of his boot and bring me to his lotus feet. is of any value. <coughs> Please forgive me, we just got off an airplane. We've been flying all day and I'm in winter clothes because in Badger there's snow everywhere. There's a blizzard, record blizzard. And last night we were in LA and it was so freezing cold, Gurudev, they don't even have heaters in their rooms. And it was the coldest day in all of all of history in LA. So here the, I feel completely unqualified to be present before you, but also so um, honored and excited and happy that I could possibly be in this assembly today. Um, and as Gopavrindapa was so beautifully saying that, um, that oh, how wonderful it would be if Gurudev had many waves of Gurudev were, were coming off the ocean. Um, but we don't need that because we have one Gurudev. And uh, that's sufficient for, um, completely inundating this entire world and universe um, with this love of 
God that he's come to give us. And he's so beautifully explained how, as an extension of Srila Prabhupada, he's come, um, especially because we weren't qualified, and still we're not qualified, but um, somehow or other he's, he's giving this amazing um, substance called bhakti. And in this world, there are so many influences, um, financial influences and power of all um, sorts. And we can even put like tiny little computers in little tiny boxes now. And um, But this love and affection that Gurudev has come to teach us, has come to show us how it's, how it's done, <laughs> to teach us how to um, nurture it to show us um, that the only purpose of our lives is to um, generate this to others and um, to um, one day um, serve in that realm that's entirely only consists of love and affection. Thank you. Are very attentively. I'm going to tell very deep some knowledge. When it was Mahapralaya, destruction, destruction fully. If we were water and water, then from the Navi, Navel of Garbhodasai Vishnu, a lotus came out. Flower was on the top of the water, and from the that Lotus stem. Uh, lotus stem. Stem. Brahma was created himself. And then when he came up, he wanted to see oh, where this lotus come coming from. Or is it? And he was going up and down, but could not discover. Then he sat there on the water and began to think, what should I do? I don't know what should I do. <clears throat> then at once from the water a sound came, tapa, tapa. Tapa means to do austerity. And then he began to start it. In Samadhi. And then about 1000 years of his own years. God Narayan placed and came up in his trance, Samadhi. All that I am very happy. Now you should have a bone. Then Brahma told, I know your wish that I should create this world. But I am fearing that when I will create this world, then I may have a false ego that I am independent uh, Srishti Karta, creator. creator of this world. So Prabhu, this should, this, uh, this should not come in my heart. Then Narayan told him, 
दंड ये सुट ही है जवान हम जथा भावो जो दरुप पूर्ण कर्म का पत्र विज्ञान वस्तु ते मद अनुग्रह ज्ञानम परमम गुहियम जद विज्ञान समन्वितम सौरहस्यम तत्त्वंगस्य ग्रहण कथितम भया ओ यू सुट ही है and you should realize by mercy anyone cannot understand and realize my these words unless i will bestow my mercy to so i am giving this so this gyan is paramam gohiya tatvagya hmm? jad vigyan samanvita and it is with विज्ञान मीन्स प्रेमा भक्ति वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रेमा भक्ति ओ लाइक गोपीज हार्ट अपटिल दैट इवन इन द हार्ट ऑफ राधिका मदनख्य भाव दैट इज एक्सट्रीम तत्व ज्ञान एंड प्रेमा भक्ति द सर्विस ऑफ कृष्ण सरहस्यम ऑल दीज थिंग्स प्रेमा भक्ति इज रहस्य एंड तदंग द मेथड द प्रोसेस बाई वीच एनी वन कैन रियलाइज दिस वॉट इज दिस दे श्रवणम कीर्तन विष्णु स्मरण पाद सेवानम अर्चनम बंधनम दर्शन सत्यम भाव बोरो भाग फाइव साधु संग नाम कीर्तन भागवत श्रवण मथुरा बास श्री मूर्ति श्रद्धा सेवन सकल साधन श्रेष्ठ ए पंच अंग कृष्ण प्रेम जन्मा ए पांच रंग साधु संग हियरिंग हरि कथा भागवत कथा वर्सिपिंग डिटेल बेइंग इन वृंदावन और द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ कृष्ण महाप्रभु दिस प्लेस ग्रहण कदित मया एंड गिविंग यू दिस नॉलेज तत्व ज्ञान एंड बाई मर्सी यू शुड ग्रहण और यू शुड टेक जवान हम हाउ आई एम मीन्स जद रूप गुण कर्म कह ओ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इज कृष्ण हिमसम ही इज स्वयं भगवान His name Krishna very attractive. He is very bhag bhakta vasalya, affectionate to his actions. And karma ka karma mane he is past time sweet past time. For how mother Jasoda, who is not up, not down, not side, not anything, and mother Jasoda he tightened him. and he became control of that land love and moreover karma kaha rash lila this is the top most lila of krishna and he did in brahma one night so much because in one night it cannot be so He prolonged it, Brahma, one night there, and he did Rasasthani. Moreover, Brahma ki, Gopi ki, Benu ki, Jugal ki, all, all these. These are the five life of of Hari Katha. This Bhagavatam. He did so. by by special mercy you should know and rite artham jat pratyet na pratyet cha atmani tat vidyatmano jatha bhavo jatha bhaso jatha tama rite artham arth is krishna valli and his sweet past times attribute and other thing rite artham Where there is not this, 
इन नॉट माई स्वरूप नॉट इन माई धाम जब प्रति आत्मनी एंड आउट ऑफ कोलोक वृंदावन हु इज सी दैट इज ही हैज सी हैज क्रिएटेड दिस वर्ल्ड दिस तद अविद्यात्मनो मायन जथा भाषो जथा तमा लाइक जथा भाषो देर आर टू काइंड्स ऑफ माया अनिचित जीव तटस्था शक्ति फ्रॉम दैट सी हैज ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू बिभिनांस जीव वी आर ऑल बिभिनांस जीव एंड तमा वेर देर इज डॉर्कनेस दैट इज दिस वर्ल्ड रिलेशन to us he is my brother he is my son he is my wife he is my husband all these things we are attached also we are attached to this body that i am this body and there are my relatives this is antakar so jatha mahant bhutani utesh achar go to gurudev and he will teach us you all these things the jat chatur shloki bhagavat you should know also that this chatur shloki is the sutra condensed form condensed form of whole shrimad bhagavatam whole 12th canto and 18000 shlokas in them not only that all the vedas the essence of all the vedas are in this in first shloka oh yes rigvabe there are four divisions first vedas were only one जजुर अथर्व वे बट श्री व्यासदेव केम एंड डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर अकॉर्डिंग टू सब्जेक्ट एंड देन ही गेव ब्रह्मा गेव इट टू व्यासदेव दिस नॉलेज एंड देन ही डिवाइडेड Four Vedas into four, according to subject. First mantra of Rig Vabe, the Anuga, the Sar, Esh, is in the first sloka of Chatur Sloki. Javan ham jata bhavo jata rupa karna ka, and then first sloka of Shambhi. the purport of that whole essence of that is in the second shloka of chatur shloki bhagavat and the first shloka of yajurved the essence of it is in chaturth shloka fourth shloka and the first shloka of atharvaved the essence is in third shloka of chatur shloka so all vedas are also there you also know that vyas dev divided vedas into four and the essence of that whole vedas he made brahma sutra essence of all brahma sutra that is that is called vedant sutra and after that he did mahabharat all the purans but he was not satisfied at all he was thinking what to do what to do 
I am not satisfied. I have done so many things. And in the meantime, Brahma told to Naraji, go. And this is Loki Chatush Bhagavata I am giving to you. You should give it to Bhyas. And he should expand. At that time, Narada came to him and told, Oh, I am seeing you are restless. You are not in calm and quiet. Why you are so worried? Then he told Gurudev, this is my disease. You bet, you know, you are right there. Doctor. Doctor. You should see my nurse and then decide what rogue is there in my heart. What I have done. I am not satisfied. Then, at that time, Narad told, I know, in the Vedas, in Brahma Sutra, in Mahabharat, whether there is Gita Upanishad, but you have not given uh, Pradhanata. Prominency. Eh? Prominency. Prominency of Krishna Bhagavat sweet pastimes. We have only impressed on Dharma, Artha, Kam, and Moksha. Have you told that Krishna is Swain Bhagavan? Have you told that? Oh, your mother Jasoda, though you are a Janma, but you have come from his own, his own home. Have you told that Gopis has controlled you and you are controlled by them? Have you written? Have you written that Krishna is telling, Na pareham I cannot repay Gopis. And the life of Brahma even, demigods, I cannot repay you. You should be happy and you should be pleased to, but by your own sweet behavior, behavior then, but I am always you, indebted to you. Indebted to you. Krishna told. Have you written this thing? Have you written Brahmar Gita and all these things? Then Narad told, at once go to your own. You should go in Samadhi Yoga, Bhakti Samadhi Yoga. And by Samadhi Yoga, he apasyat pursam purnam mayang chada jada apasya. He became in Samadhi and what he saw, top to bottom, all the sweet pastimes of Krishna, how he took birth, how he did so many pastimes, even Ross and all these things. And then for the jivas who are in this world, they are binded by Maya, he told them. For their goodness, welfare. welfare, he composed that Srimad Bhagavatam and taught to his own son, Sukhdeva, who was Nipatipa, who was detached from, totally from world and from worldly attachment. So, Sukadeva Goswami was first speaker and preacher of the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, gradually, we will discuss, uh, discuss, uh, discuss. discuss all these things. So, any kirtan and then. 
Any translation is needed? Sundar can sing. You can come in here. Come on this side.
Life history of Narada Rishi. 